Hey everyone, my name is Glenn or Glenn on Twitch. And um, if you found this video, then hopefully you're trying to find a way to stream from your Switch to Twitch. Um, and for this video, I'm going to be using OBS. And you can probably use Streamlabs or whatever software you're using. But I'm going to specifically talk through how to set it up in OBS and, and what you need. So the main reason why people are trying to do this and look for videos about this, I guess, is because you don't want to spend what looks to be maybe 150 pounds or more on a capture card and i mean that's fair enough for the the switch specifically i think this is an alternative way to do it it's pretty good because switch output i mean it does go to 1080p sometimes but you're looking at 30 fps right so you're not look you're not needing to have a good hdmi um throughput to watch yourself on your you know probably Good monitor and um, from like a PlayStation or something like that and um, because switch just doesn't have that same quality of video output not that it's bad but it's just not high frame rate and high resolution at the same time so you can do that with one of these things okay so this is it, it kind of gets called a cam link right so you've got your HDMI input and you've got a USB now when I was trying to find this I just searched for HDMI to USB converter because I thought surely that's got to exist and um, these things yeah they do exist and they seem to be quite a lot of um, they seem to be maybe maybe intended for use with like a video camera so you can actually convert your HDMI of a video camera to USB and then view it on your um, on your computer but it does work with the Nintendo Switch so HDMI from your Switch goes in there USB into your PC and what it does is it acts like a webcam so if you've set up a webcam in OBS before similar process to that but I would guess you weren't using your webcam microphone and other bits so there's slightly more to it than just that but it is completely doable completely possible and a uh, decent quality as well for the switch specifically like I say you can do this if you want to capture your PlayStation your Xbox um, the newer generations though you're not going to get your 4k you're not going to get your 60 FPS because these things don't have that higher um, bit rate or, or, or whatever it is transfer rate from from this cable so um, yeah like I say specifically switch um, I'm gonna plug this in now switch to my OBS I'm going to talk through just setting up a scene that should give you what you want okay um, so you can see me obviously that's very important um, and what we're gonna do is add our cam link so the cam links now plugged in so we're going to add that on to our scene and we're going to do that using a video capture device and we're going to call it well I'm going to call mine switch capture if you're using this to generically capture various different devices maybe you like capturing ps4 or something then um, you know call it what you want it doesn't really matter what you name it um, as long as it's familiar as long as you can tell what you're doing and um, so you get the, the screen up if you added your webcam previously then you know you're going to know the screen um, and my capture device is this FHD capture. So when I select it, Pokemon's here, you can it's grayed out because it's gone into that kind of rest of sleep. But let me grab my um, controller, sorry. All right, so you can see that's capturing my switch from my... Um, um, right, so that is that has added the, the screen, but what you also need to do is you need to add the audio. Um, I'm currently recording using OBS. So what you see here will be what you're streaming if if um, if it was streaming, but I'm, I'm just recording. So if I click OK, you are not going to be able to hear anything from the switch. You can see that switch capture on my mixer is not doing anything. So that's telling me there is no sound coming from this. The way that you get that to work is, is that, can you go properties? Yeah, properties from this is you go to the bottom of these options and you have this use custom audio. So turn that on and it's going to add in this audio device. So you can then select that same device, that FHD capture or whatever yours is called, but that device FHD capture is, is sending audio through HDMI. So you select that and now you can see the switch capture is going and you'll be able to hear the audio. Um, I'm going to turn that down now. Where are your web? Where are your switch capture? Here you are. Bring you down, bring you down, bring you down. So that's just so that you know you can hear my um, 
my dulcet tones over the over the game but you can adjust those volumes yourself um, to get that right get the balance right and just show you um i'm now walking around playing the game um and um that's great so there's a couple of extra things that you obviously want to do the first one is i can't hear the game because if you're doing capture from a webcam obviously you're not feeding the microphone back in that webcam back into your ears um, and unless you're, well, you might be self-monitoring yourself from a mic, but that's what we need to do for the switch capture as well. So I'm going to just get my headphones. Just to confirm, I cannot hear the game right now. So what I need to do to get the game sound through my headset so that I can hear what's happening on the game um, is to go to your audio mixer and go to your advanced options. So what this lets you do, as well as adjusting your volumes for different things, um, to balance them out, it lets you monitor those sounds. So as I was just saying, you can monitor your own microphone from here, just in case you didn't know you could do that. You can send your microphone back for your ears so you can try and get your levels right or just to it can help you stop shouting when you're wearing a headset as well if you can hear yourself sometimes. Um, but what we want to do is we want to take our switch capture and we want to change this to monitor and output. Output means it's going to you, monitor means it's coming to me. So now we can both hear it which is great because I want to be able to hear my game while I'm playing it and I want my audience to be able to hear my game, possibly. Sometimes people will put you know, lo-fi on instead, um, depending on uh, the sort of vibe of the stream, but you can you can do that by you know, turning this volume right down if you don't want your game audio going out. So you can play with that. Um, right, so that gives me, I can still hear it. Let me turn my head off. So that gives me my switch on an OBS frame scene with my camera on it. Um, so to start building up this scene, I guess people would want to put their alerts over the top and their, their overlays, their subs. Maybe they've got goals or you know other, other fun things going on. Maybe they've got the chat on there. So if I was doing that and I was looking at my OBS while I was trying to play, I would have stuff all over the place in Moi. Someone subscribes, I'm not going to be able to see the game. Um, if I if I have a chat box, a particularly big camera, um, an overlay with subs, all of those things are going to mean that parts of the screen are covered up. And if that's fine for you, and you're, you've only got one screen and, and that works, just looking at OBS to play, then great, you, you're done. We'll end the video. But there's something else you can do. Say, I don't know, if you, if you normally capture PC games and you're streaming and you've got two monitors, you might have OBS on your on one screen and your game on the other screen, and that's how you're used to. You can do that too. So the way that you set that up, when we go to the Switch Capture device and look at the, the right-click menu, there's these two options here. They're called Projector Source or Projector, source, projector Bracket Source. And not very intuitive, but basically what that means is it's going to put your capture device onto another screen for you. So it's great. So you can go full screen, pick your monitor from here, and that will then put a clone of your captured output or get input to another screen. You've only got one screen, you can do it in a window. And that's my Pokemon window. So if I take this, snap that over here, I can now play Pokemon. You can see it's mirrored. But the left side, that's going to be what I'm looking at when I play. And the right side, that's my OBS scene um, with all my overlays on, which means I can avoid having the overlays while I'm playing. Um, they're in sync, which is nice. The sound seems to me to be in sync. Everything works very well when I'm when I'm doing it. Um, I don't really have audio delay options or anything. So um, I said options there. I meant problems. My, my, audio, my audio is fairly in sync. Um, and yeah, it's just it, it just seems to work. The so as I said, the the caveat on this is that the Camlink devices tend to be thirty fps um, and maybe maybe ten eighty at the limit. If you're trying to stream from PS five and you've got four K output, um, even obviously a PS four uh, Pro will go up to four K for some things. You're not going to get that. And if you're watching your PS five on your monitor. You're going to be reducing that quality quite a lot if you're capturing through um, one of these cam links. But 
for a Switch where its upper limit is pretty much 1080, 30 FPS, you're not going to see much of a difference, if any, using your um, using the cam link and the monitor. Um, I honestly don't think there's much. Though. I, I am honestly the impact lag here does not seem to be an issue for me whatsoever. So um, I know if I got lucky and got a good cam link, I don't think so. Um, I reckon um, just check on Amazon, less than twenty quid for one of these things, um, and it will it will do you well. But yeah, so what I what I what I recommend is don't look for cam link because I didn't find anything when I was looking for cam link. Really, I found what I was looking for when I typed in HDMI to USB or HDMI to USB converter, and that's when I found what I was looking for. And the listings show you that you can with a good diagram that you can plug a camera or a console in and then plug that into the PC, so you can see that's the thing that you're after on those listings. Um, and some of them even say they go up to 60 FPS. My one doesn't. I got it um, a year or so, just over a year ago, and there didn't seem to be any 60 FPS ones around then, but um, they seem to be now. And like I say, they're about 15 quid for those. I think the 30 ones are below a tenner now, actually. So not a bad option if you're only going for the Switch, because I don't think you need more than 30. Um, yeah, so that's it. I hope that, that this all works for you. Um, I don't know how much help I can be if you followed everything through um, and it's not working. Try having a Google. I mean, you can put a comment in if you like. Um, we can try and go through some stuff, but I, I can't promise I can help. I'm not an expert. I just tried to do something like this myself and found it complicated and thought, actually, once you work it all out, it's quite simple. So I thought I'd make the tutorial. Um, so yeah, hopefully this is useful. Um, if it is, give me a like. You know, appreciate that. Um, if you are into puzzle games, if you're into crosswords, then my Twitch channel is Glentifer, um, and I do cryptic crosswords on there. Um, if that's your thing, then um, you know, come check me out. But if not, hope this video was helpful again, and I'll catch you again.